Hey YouTubers, yesterday I received my OWC Gemini Thunderbolt 3 RAID drive and dock. And so I've only had it about 24 hours, but I really like it. So I want to give you my first impressions. Now my old RAID device I was using was this Western Digital MyCloud. It connects to your network and you access it that way. And that has some advantages, but I never really took advantage of those advantages. Uh, there's an app for the Western Digital, and you can access your network drive from anywhere in the world if you have internet access uh, using the uh, MyCloud app on your phone. And that's really neat, but I never really took advantage of that. And so I found that it was very, very slow uh, to archive things from my local computer. And like I said, I really didn't use the network aspect of it to its full of its advantage, so uh, I switched to Thunderbolt 3. The size of the devices are similar. The Western Digital being more upright and the Gemini being uh, a little lower and deeper. Uh, the Western Digital did supply you with two USB ports, but since you're accessing them over your network, it's not very fast. It was one of those features I never really took advantage of. It wasn't very useful. Now this device is really, really fast on Thunderbolt 3. Um, one of the complaints you'll hear about this is people say that the fan noise is very loud. Uh, I don't find that the fan noise is loud at all. I'm going to see if you can hear it. I've got a battery powered clock in the room and I'd say that the fan noise of the Gemini and the noise from the clock are similar in volume. Now, when you access the drive, the hard drives inside do make some noise. Let me uh, open up here. Can you hear that? It's not very loud, but I do feel they could have done a little bit better job dampening the drives within this metal enclosure. Now it has rubber feet on the bottom, but I put additional uh, soft silicon rubber feet under the feet that's on it so that when this is uh, accessing the drive, I don't feel the vibration through my desktop. And uh, I really think they missed an opportunity here to better isolate the drives within this device. They could have reduced the noise further. Now here we see the back panel of the device and you can see the various ports. The Gemini arrives configured in RAID 0 for maximum speed and I wanted to use it in RAID 1 for redundancy. Now there's a switch here on the back but it's protected by a clear plastic cover so you can't reach in there with a screwdriver and change that. I kind of like that because once I change it, I don't want it messed with again. And so what you have to do is there are two screws on the case, one at the bottom and one just like it at the top. You remove those two screws, pull the case off, and then you can access this switch. You put the switch in the position you want it and then connect it to your computer. There is no reset button like on some devices. You simply move the switch to the position you want and connect it. If you leave it in RAID 0, when you first connect it to your computer, an OWC formatting utility will pop up and walk you through formatting the drive. In this case, I have two 12 terabyte drives in here. So if I plugged it in in RAID 0, it would show up as 24 terabyte. But I switched this to RAID 1. So when I plug it in, the Mac computer says, I don't understand what to do with this drive, it's not configured. And so you use the drive utility on your Mac to format it as a 12 terabyte drive. Like I say, it's redundant. So when you copy files to this, the files go to each of the two internal 12 terabyte drives. So should one drive go bad, the other one's still good. You just pop in a new identical drive and it rebuilds itself. Perhaps it's because I used the Macintosh disk utility to format the drive instead of the OWC drive formatting tool, but I was a little disappointed when I connected the drive 
to find that it came up with the same icon as every other external hard drive. And I wanted to give a unique icon so I didn't accidentally mistake it for a different drive. And so it's very simple to change. Okay, so I'm on the OWC website. Just right click, open the image in a new tab. Here we have it. Right click again, save image to downloads. Go over here to downloads. I just copied it off on my desktop. Right click on the Gemini drive on the computer and select get info. When that comes up, all you do is go here to the icon you want to copy and hit Command C, click here under File Info, and hit Command V, and you paste a new icon in place of the default icon. And that's it. I'm really, really chuffed about this. Um, when I copied the contents of my network drive to a USB 3.1 drive, it took several days. When I copied the contents of my network drive to this drive, it took eight hours. It is unbelievably fast. And I'm really looking forward to having extra ports that I can connect things to. And so uh, although it takes one Thunderbolt port, it gives you another one on the back, plus adds several other connections. Uh, all in all, it's a solid piece of equipment. My only complaint I can come up with is that I do think they could have isolated the hard drives within the device a little bit better to muffle the sound, but it's not objectionable. It's uh, really no louder than the network drive I had before. So if you're in the market for one, I highly recommend it. And I can't say enough good things about their customer support. Uh, I was a little confused on setting this up and I made several phone calls to them picked up the phone right away, fast, friendly, and helpful. Um, you pay a little bit more maybe than you might get from um, some other places, but you, you get great customer support from OWC. So I really, really highly recommend this device. One final thought. Uh, I considered buying the case and the drives from Otherworld Computing separately. Uh, they had a little sale going on, and I could have maybe saved a little bit of money. But they told me if I buy the case and drive separately, the case and drives are covered by a one-year warranty. If I buy one of their pre-configured systems, it's covered by a three-year warranty. So although it was tempting to try and save a few bucks, I went ahead and bought a pre-configured Gemini system. That way I get a three-year warranty. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did.